a Maybach from the German brewery whose bottles like to go plop. And from the Flensburger Brewery in Germany, we have a bottle of their Frühlingsbock coming in at 6.9% ABV. Now, obviously we all know the Flensburger Brewery loves to put their beer in these flip-top bottles. They pride themselves on the saying yeah, they love their, their beer, the bottles to go plop. They're famous for the, the, the famous brewery for the bottles that go plop, you know, when you open them up. Now, this is actually, um, it's a Frulins Bock, but it's actually a Maybock, okay? And very, very um, interesting um, how they bring this out. This comes out every February. Right, so it's like a, like a May box, a spring box, right, and it comes out every February, okay. And the the actual, um, the hops <laughs> that come for this, this uh, beer come from um, Tetnang on Lake Constance. Um, that's where the hops come from, this beer. Um, it's... Um, and they wanted to to pro this beer when they produced it. Um, their, their 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 managing director Hans Peter um, Hayen. Um, they wanted to create a beer with the facets of spring, and that was their sort of their remit to produce this beer. So let's get it open. Let's get it into a glass. And let's give it a review. I'm looking forward to this actually, especially when you get the plop. I do like the plop when you flick these bottles off. And they're good for hanging up in the pub shed as well. That was a massive bang, the smoke come out. Fantastic. Let's get it in this glass. Look at that. Oh, that looks divine. It is, I can smell the hops from here. Whoa. Right. It is a beautiful golden colour, plenty of carbonation, a one finger tight white foam head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's sweet, it's doughy. I'm getting lots of herbal hops there. It's grassy. Oh. It really, really does smell of spring is in the air. You know, it really, really does. Oh, fresh bread dough. Oh. Grassy. Fields, the herbal hops, a little bit of pepperiness there, and a little bit of sort of more sort of lime than lemon, to be honest. Yeah, definitely more sort of fresh lime than lemon. You usually get this lemon pepper on a lot of German beers. This is more of a lime pepper. I tell you what, I, I, I can't wait to take a sip of this. I cannot wait to take a sip of this because this is going to be good. Whoa. This beer has just knocked me for six. It is so good. Bleed it out.
this is my type of Pilsner Lager. And I'm actually going to call it a Pilsner Stroke Lager. Maybach. Um, it's... Uh, it's got very much a Pilsner um, Lager-esque note to it. It is fantastic. This is my type of beer. 6.9%. 6.9%. It tastes like I'm drinking a 4% beer. It's so light. But it's so flavoursome. Oh, the bursts of flavours I'm getting out of this beer. It's bready. You're getting the biscuity malts all the way through. The grassy herbal hops in abundance. And then you got this, this light sort of, and it is lime. Lime pepper. It's just awesome. It's a slight, at the back end, a slight bitterness, a little bit of a dry note. This is so much, for anyone that's never had a Maybach before, I can only describe it as this is a cross between literally a, like a lager, a Hells and a Pilsner, but we're a bit more ABV, you know. Um, when you think about the ABV 6.9%, 6 you can start sort of thinking about some of the um, the beers that they produce for the, the Oktoberfest, which I do believe some of the Oktoberfest beers are approaching 6%. So you've got that fuller flavour. The mouthfeel feels full, you know? It doesn't feel weak or watery or anything like that. You really have got a nice, um, full mouthfeel. It's rich. Um, it is just spot on and to be honest right i'm going to say this now if i was out in, in germany drinking this in a bar i'd want it in a small glass like this with the bottle like this i don't think i'd want um 500 mil um glasses of it let alone a stein of it i think in the three 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 point point three liter glasses this is absolutely a fantastic beer to have in a point three liter glasses um Definitely, definitely a Pilsner type. I looked on the, on their website and actually had it in sort of like a, a Pilsner type glass. That's why I, I, I sort of poured it in a Pilsner type glass. And I think I did the right idea there with the carbonation. Look at it, rolling carbonation in that. Brilliant. Oh, and you don't feel this carbonation. That's rolling away. You think that's a gassy beer. No, it isn't. Now this is actually one, one gold in the, the, the beer awards in 2014. So it goes to show that this beer is, is, is no, it's, not, it's not, a, not a crap beer, this is a good beer. Um, it's really, really well balanced. I do like, you really do get a, a multi twang to this beer. With the grassy notes and this this lime pepper, it's definitely lime. And if any of you had this, you can't. Call, it's not lemon, like a lot. It's definitely lime. Full-bodied, great taste. Does life get any better? Does life get any better? Um, I tell you what, I'd, I'd love this all year round down my local. I, would, I could quite handle, handle walking into my local pub and having a full range of Flensburger beers all behind the bar and then just pick and choose as and when, you know. Have this one in, at this time of year, get the spring bock out. Towards the winter, get the winter bock in there. And I really, really do like this brewery. The Pilsner's fantastic. Um, what a brewery, look. 
jump through hoops to try and get a, a bottle of this. I got a bottle from the House of Trembling Madness. It was like a couple of quid. It weren't expensive. But you're getting one heck of a beer for the money here. Yeah. Worth every penny. Look at the way it's holding that head as well. The carbonation, that, that foam is still saying there. That foam creating a barrier from the oxygen out here. Creating that barrier to stop the oxygen ruining the beer. You know, that is the mark of a good beer. The lacing on the side of the glass. Um, I don't think life gets any better, do you? Look, if you're a, if you're a lager and a pilsner lover, you're gonna love this beer. You are gonna love this beer. IPA drinkers, you're gonna love this beer because there's some flavor to there. These, these sort of, these herbal hops, it's something a little bit different, you know? So, IPA drinkers or, you know, bite your lip, bite your lip and get one of these, you know? You know, these IPA you know, the, the IPA drinkers, oh, lager, lager, oh. No, bite your lip. Sit back and try one of these. Um, Brian, I'm going to call you in this as well, Brian, because I know you like, you've got a big passion for the um, the Belgian beers like me, but you also like a good beer, be it a lager, be it um, a stout, whatever, you know, if it's a good beer and I recommend it, you usually end up trying it. So look, Brian, jump through hoops and get yourself a bottle of this, mate. This is, this is unbelievable beer. It is... Um, it's blown me away. I didn't realise it. Was, I knew it was going to be good. Because anything that comes from Flensburger is good. But I didn't know it was going to be this good. I'm actually going to say this is possibly the best Flensburger beer I've had so far. I'm going to say possibly. Because you never know. I might get another one that I haven't had and like that more. So at the moment, this is my number one Flensburger brewery beer. So look. Get yourself a bottle of this. Jump through flaming hoops to get yourself a bottle of this. Try it, see what you think. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, Never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>